Welcome to the Beer Search Party. This is Sean Inman with you with our last Christmas holiday seasonal beer review. And as you can see, it's from the brewery, Three French Hens. Now this is a Belgian-style dark ale, 25% of which is aged in, appropriately enough, French oak barrels. Now, if those of you not familiar with the brewery, they are going to go all through the 12 days of Christmas. They started off a couple years ago with a partridge in a pear tree. Last year was two turtle doves, and this year is three French hens. This one is 10% alcohol by volume, and as you can see, it's pretty it's, uh, brownish dark. It's not black. So sometimes the Belgian strongs are usually in the blackish range, but this one is uh, seems to be uh, brownish, hazy. Get a lot of fruity, spicy, pie-ish sort of uh, notes here in the nose. And I seem to get a little hop in there too. For 10%, that is surprisingly got uh, not too much sweetness. It's got a little sweet in there, but it doesn't have the the uh, alcohol burn until a lot later, which is kind of surprising. Usually with something in that 10 and above region, you get the right off the bat, but this one, not so much. So they're doing a good job masking it with other uh, flavors and such. And there's a lot of the raisiny sort of uh, current in that ballpark flavors going on in there. A little bit of spice, not too much, but I am getting a bit of hops in there too. Doesn't say on their website which which ones they use for that, but this is a pretty, for something that's supposed to age until 12 drummers start drumming, this one is surprisingly pretty light. And I've found that a lot lately with the some of the brewery beers, the local red, which is uh, extremely good. That you can you have to go into Orange County to get. It's extremely good, nice and hoppy, even better than uh, their uh, Mischief IPA, which is one of my favorite ones. And I've also had a couple from their new uh, tasting room and store called the Provisions Brewery Provisions. They have a uh, premier beer, which is a uh, strong golden aged in bourbon barrels, I believe. And the one that I really liked, which is an oddball one, is the Gunga Galunga. It's made with uh, Bretomyces, kefir lime, and galonga root, uh, which is apparently a form of ginger. And it was really good. It was black as pitch and just excellent. So lately, and I'm going to have to include this three French hens, they have really been firing on a lot of cylinders, making some really interesting stuff. Now, I, uh, as you know, Three French Hens, it's a complete series. I'm sure there's going to be some vertical parties going on um, from Orange County and radiating outward to lucky people who were had the foresight, unlike me, uh, to uh, load up on bottles so that they could have a 12-bottle vertical. Um, I drank all the turtle doves that I had. And I didn't buy, I only bought like a bottle or two of the partridge in a pear tree and that went the uh, way of the dodo as well. So I am starting from scratch with three. So that'll have to be my lucky number and I'll uh, go through 12 that way. But uh, these are definitely going to be interesting to uh, try and you'll, as you see from the length and height of this bottle, you're going to have to invite a lot of friends if you plan on doing all 12 because these are going to be heavy big beers. I believe the first one was 11% uh, and the second one was 12%. So these are all going to be big beers, probably until the end. The end ones might be a little lighter. But there you go, three French hens. Nice little spicy, raisiny, but surprisingly light and punchy little uh, winter warmer. It'll do well on any Christmas table. Well, this is the Beer Search Party. This is Sean Inman, and I'm trying to get this under five minutes, so go to beersearchparty.com for more stuff. Cheers.